Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake, and this is your weekly update. Make sure you share it on all your platforms. Get the word out. We are in a little bit of shady areas Praise today from God. last week. Uh, although the lighting was wonderful <clears throat> last week, Jake got a little sunburned, and so I had to put him under the shade this week, give you a little break because he's kind of tender, you know. You don't want to. I even wore a white shirt today because it wouldn't be so hot. Yeah, if we'd have been in the sun, that white shirt, we couldn't even see your face. It'd be so blinding on that. Hey, we got two things this week, and they're huge. I mean, they're huge things. Um, one is Kid Venture Live, like our biggest uh, kid <clears throat> event of our church of the year. I think like 3,000 kids are going to be at the church. Isn't that right, Jake? Or yeah. Something like that. And uh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be cool. Wait till you see the church Sunday morning. When you get there Sunday morning. Oh, yeah, if you're thanks. watching online, I'm begging you to come in person this Sunday and to see... Yeah how the church has been transformed it's cool into the kid venture live thing it's, it's cool. really awesome yeah it's cool so uh don't forget it's next week monday tuesday wednesday and thursday 5 30 is that right jake yep uh 5 30 each night kids will be gathering uh it's going to be loud it's going to be crazy it's going to be good but i tell you here's the cool thing about it kids are going to get saved and kids are going to be discipled next week and that's that's what's going to be cool next week and by the way i heard last night at youth camp yesterday uh there were seven kids saved nice. seven kids getting saved uh so all from our church uh three from our church oh. uh, from what i understand so uh well, come on man we got that means that we're losing three to four yeah, yeah seven but you know, got saved but, total only three from our church hey i'm grateful for everything so y'all keep praying for our students uh this is their last full day at camp today uh, they'll be coming home tomorrow, be home about 1 o'clock, 1.30, somewhere in there. So um, just keep praying. Usually Thursday night's the big night at camp uh, that kids make decisions. So uh, keep praying for those. What else we got, Jake? Grief support meets this Sunday right after the service. Grief support. If you're grieving, uh, you're just kind of stuck in a place of grief, this is a great ministry. This is one of the best things that we do. It is. Uh, eat a light lunch. You don't have to share anything. You can just sit there and let those grief ministers love on you. <laughs> They'll have some materials that they can give you to help you through the grief process. Uh, they, they check up on you during the week and throughout the month and things like that. But the in-person meetings they do on the second Sunday of every month are awesome. So be, you just, it's in Generations. We'll have signs pointing uh, that go in the back door Generations there right after the service. And Edward's not been going very long here lately, so should have plenty of time for a be good that's a, that's a good one also jake your hat show, show your hat there fathers of the field baby fathers of the field uh, so in the month of august you guys know we do kind of a, a revamp of small groups and yeah. service yeah. and all that good stuff on august the 14th we're going to be introducing fathers in the field it's a ministry uh to fatherless boys and so we're going to have an informational meeting after the service on August the 14th, uh, where fathers in the field will be here, uh, husbands and wives, yeah. if you're married. Uh, we, we want to encourage you to come to that, to learn more about that. It's really a cool ministry. Uh, we've been working on it for about two years. We're uh, going to get real religious. What do you mean by that? Religion that the Father approves of, taking care of wives oh. and orphans. Oh. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. So anyway, August 14th, put that on your calendar. August 28th, we're going to be relaunching small groups for some of you guys that are new to Summit uh, and, and have not connected to a small group. We're going to be yep. starting those groups. Be Jake's starting groups working again. on those. Got uh, something special in the hopper for groups this semester. It's going to be good. Yeah, it's for everybody. It's going to be awesome. Hey, I got a big announcement to make. What announcement do you have to make? You know, last week we talked about one of our sponsors. Uh, you I'm fixing to cut this no, off. We had, you, no, no, this is me. a If you big commit me, I'm going to cut this off. Because we have many sponsors here at Summit Heights Fellowship Weekly Update Video. Today's video, I'm proud to announce, we've just signed on this week, is brought to you by Dunder and Mifflin Paper Company. <laughs> All of your paper needs, go see the guys at the office at Dunder and Mifflin. We appreciate your support. Look forward to partnering with you in the future. Wow. I hadn't heard that in a while. Uh, yeah. I, I thought they were out of business. No, they're, they're still going. going. They're still going every night. Uh, I think it's TBS. Yeah, that's, that reruns. That's interesting. That's interesting. I, there's probably a whole generation that's never heard of that. They're missing out. They're missing out. They're they're missing out. out. So, hey, something we love you. Got anything else, brother? Nope, that's it. Uh, can't wait to see you Sunday. Pray for our students. Pray for our children next week. Uh, 
just continue to pray for life change, uh, that God continues to use us in this community. And come in person. See the uh, building. It's the, awesome. The building's going to be cool. I cannot wait for you to see that. Uh, 10 o'clock, Sunday morning. Uh, if you cannot join us, join us online uh, and, and be ready to take communion and all that good stuff as we do. And we'll see you Sunday morning at 10 a.m.